let's talk about external style sheets. Now, as you can see, I've gone in and made some changes to the Bill of Rights webpage. And what I did was remove all of the styling. And then I went and created two new web sheets along the same theme of American history. The first one is I Have a Dream, which is the speech given by Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. I also have one for Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Again, these web pages have no styling. Now, what I want to do is use an external style sheet so that I only have to make a styling entry once and it will affect all of my web pages at the same time. This is the way the pros manage the look and feel of professional websites. So, the secret is the external style sheet. And this is how you build one. Again, it's just another simple text file. You start by listing the name of the HTML element that you want to apply styling to. In this case, our element is body. And then, within curly brackets, you list out the styles you wish to apply. So I'm changing, in this case, my background to pink, my default text color to navy blue, my default font size to 24 pixels high. Essentially, setting things back to the way they were before in the Bill of Rights website or web page, excuse me. Now, I've done the same thing for H1. The styles are different. I'm keeping the cursive font family. I'm defining 36 pixels high as the size of my text. Keeping the color red, and again, I'm centering it. For my heading two, I'm doing exactly the same thing, but my font size is only 32 pixels high, just a tad smaller. For my heading three, I'm reducing the size by another four pixels, and I am not centering. Okay? So that's all of the styles that I have defined. So let's save that out. And let's see what's involved in making it work. Let's go to Dream. And I've already got the code here. It's commented out. But we'll uncomment it. So now it's active. Now this is what the code looks like. The first line has the HTML element link. So this is a link tag. Note it is an empty tag so we have to close it at the end. Now, the first thing that I have to specify is the relationship between my web page and this file I'm linking to. And the relationship is that the linked file is a style sheet. So it's REL equals, quote, style sheet, end quote. Then I have to specify the type of file. So I will say that the type is equal to, again, quote, text, forward slash, CSS, end quote. The CSS for cascading style sheets. And then finally, I have to specify the file name of my external file sheet. So it's href equals, quote, history.css, end quote. Okay, let's save this out. And I am going to cut or excuse me, copy the highlighted text into my keyboard buffer so we can make the same change to the other two files in a hurry. 
So let's just make sure we've saved this one. Yes, we did. So let's go to Gettysburg and let's paste it in and save Gettysburg. And then let's go to our Bill of Rights. And let's paste it in there. Oh, the indentation is not important at this point. Let's just save it and see how it works. Okay, so let's minimize Text Wrangler and let's refresh these pages. Here's the Bill of Rights using the external style sheet. Now here's Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech with the external style sheet. And then finally, the Gettysburg Address with the external style sheet. This is how the pros control the look and feel of a website. You can control, in this case, three files or 3,000 files. It doesn't matter. What you need to do is define your style sheet and then use the link to activate it. Later.